going on people welcome to united view welcome to manchester united versus arsenal the road trip the birthday december the second and surely man united cannot ruin this day for me um shout out to anyone else celebrating their birthday as well there was someone in the comments saying that they share the same birthday as me so if you are celebrating your birthday today or tomorrow or a couple of days ago in and around this time um big up to you lot man big up to you the game the game the game the game um it's probably going to be michael carrick's last first and last game um in charge at old trafford we'll see what happens with that uh, I know potentially he might get Sunday, but let's just take it for face value that it is. Um, I think it just feeds in nicely more to the occasion. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with that, but it's not guaranteed. I honestly think this is gonna be a proper tough game. I know uh, we can look at Arsenal and before we can say that they're this and they're that, but the, the, re the reality is is since since they were had that awful start to the season, I think they lost one game and that's to Liverpool. You know. They're in good form. They're in better form than us. Yeah, the last couple of games we've stabilised, but let's not forget, it was only last week what was happening at Watford. Um, so we're only still getting there. We're, we're very much not there yet. Um, and, and I think Carrick has, what he's done is just, just calmed us down a little bit, got us a little bit more stable, got us a little bit more compact. Um, and kind of going with the philosophy of let's just not concede first and then try and work our way into games. The difference with today is that obviously it being at home, a big crowd, the place is going to be rocking. We will have to be a little bit more on the front foot than we have been in the last few games. I should imagine so, but that doesn't mean to go gun ho I, I know people can say it's Arsenal, it's this, it's that. Let's just play the same, uh, play the 4-2-3-1, go for it, go for them. And there's an element of needing to go for Arsenal, but it has to be in the right way. It has to be in the right way. So I think with the likes of Bruno Fernandes being dropped in the first game that Carrick had against Villarreal, then Ronaldo got dropped in the second game. I'm going to say this. I. I think he's going to make it a trio of big decisions. Maybe Harry Maguire won't start. I've got a feeling. I don't know. I've got a feeling of maybe... I looked at Lindelof and Bailly and they did okay. Um, and they were solid for large parts of that game against Chelsea. And we conceded to a penalty. From open play, they were really good. And if I'm being honest, I don't think we should actually upset that balance for this game. I don't. Will it be upset, the balance? Well, Michael, um, Michael Carrick, I think, will pick... Will pick... Um, will probably go with... Um, Harry Maguire but I'm I don't know I got a feeling there's I don't know a hat trick of big decisions from Maguire you know um sorry from Carrick that would be Bruno out from the first game Ronaldo out for the second game and maybe we don't see Harry Maguire coming for the second game I got a slight little feeling um what is this what is this lorry doing I hate when lorries do that they just take up the whole road and that like you know it's all right typical um so for me, I think it would. I think we should go with Lindelof uh, and and Bailly again. I I actually would do that. Me personally, I don't know what you guys think, and it depends what he does in midfield. I mean, if he, it, I like. I me personally, I like the fact that he went with a flat three against Chelsea. Maybe we can make make a different makeup of that. Maybe put Donny in there, alongside Fred, alongside Bruno, maybe. Um, a lot of people calling for Bruno to be dropped. I don't think Bruno should get dropped for this game. I don't. I feel like. You know, the whole reason we bought him um, is to obviously do what he's been doing for us over the last 18 months or so, and he's going through a bad patch now. But Arsenal at home, I just think the direction to Bruno needs to be changed. I've always said that. You guys know that. Every time Bruno's running around, pressing by himself, not in a team shape, that's an issue. I think you get hold of Bruno and say, play in the midfield three alongside Fred and, and Matic or Fred and Donny. I, I probably wouldn't play... I, I, I think McTominay's been in bad form. I think McTominay's been in really bad form. But again, he's going to get picked for this game. But for me personally, I'd go with Fred, Donny uh, and Bruno for this game. I, and and, and on Fred, yeah, in the, at the moment, he's showing, he's showing the, quali the positive qualities that he has. I think when Fred gets it, wins the ball back, high press, high energy, he's actually very important to the tempo of our midfield. Very, very important. Um, it's, just, it's just when he... When he tries to release the ball, sometimes he leaves a lot to be desired for. But yet, you know, in the last game against Chelsea, it was absolutely unbelievable. Um, and the ball that he put through to Sancho, Sancho judges that correctly. Um, you know, he's through on goal. You know, so Fred was everywhere. Fred right now is an essential part of our midfield in this run of form. So Fred's a shoe in. Um, Ronaldo, there is no way. Uh, this could be my favourite last words, but there is no way that Ronaldo doesn't start this game in my opinion you can't alright I don't mind dropping him here or there at Arsenal at home after he got dropped for the first game and get the, the game last week against Chelsea the other day against Chelsea for me 
he comes straight back in the team. He comes straight back in the team. Sancho, I'm expecting big things from him today. It depends who Arsenal go with. I know Tavares has looked really aggressive, really quick, really powerful. Um, and I think he'll probably get the nod from Mikel Arteta. I don't know if he's going to put Tierney back in there maybe for experience. Who knows? But whoever it is, I think Jaden Sancho is ready for him. I think Sancho is ready for a big, solid game at Old Trafford. And I'm tipping him to score or assist today. I'm tipping him to really be involved in, in, in a positive performance for us. I think you go with Rashford on the left and obviously the big man Ronaldo up front. So it'll be interesting to see if Luke Shaw is back yet. If not, obviously it's going to have to be Tellez and a big game needed from wan -Bissaka. So I'm going with a 2-1 win. Um, I know KG was saying, listen, don't, when you're confident, it's not good and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just think with the confidence that we've got from the last couple of games in terms of stabilising, it hasn't been perfect, it hasn't been pretty, but just growing in confidence in terms of I think now we could be drew. We could be drew, um, due a big performance at home um, against one of the bigger teams, and I think today's the perfect opportunity to get it. Arsenal, yeah, look, they've been looking okay. They don't score much goals. It's more about breaking them down, actually. And I think if we get the first goal, I think we'll be fine. Um, but I think it's going to be really, really tough. Is it going to be pretty? No. Is it going to be a dogged game, a tough game? I, I think so. Um, they got threats of their own. We got to keep Smith Rowe quiet. Um, I'm not sure if Saka's starting, but you know what he's going to offer on that side. Aubameyang, look, he's playing poorly right now. And I think between Lindelof, if he plays up front by himself against Lindelof and especially Bailly, I think we'll handle um, him perfectly fine, especially Bailly. I think he'll have the beating of him. I don't see Aubameyang causing too much problems right now unless we give him a clear, open, you know what I mean, chance. Or like last year, he obviously had a penalty, anything like that. But the way he's playing right now, I don't see how Arsenal play through Aubameyang he's just not holding up the ball he's not good enough to do that right now um, and I think I think we're on top of them I think we start quick I think we go for them and make Arsenal have to defend make the you know they're defending well right now let's put the pressure on and see if we can get an early goal and dead their confidence it's all about that first 15 20 minutes of the game so I'm going with a 2-1 Man United win um, I'm going to go with Jane and Sancho to score and Ronaldo to prove why he shouldn't have got dropped against Chelsea in his opinion um, and us to get the win on December the 2nd, which will be massive. Make sure you guys join KG on the match view. Keep him company, keep him sane. As you know, KG, <laughs> KG hates Arsenal more than anyone else. I think it's a personal thing with just who he has around him. Um, it's like he hates them more than Liverpool and City. He just, he just does not like Arsenal. Um, so make sure you guys um, hang out with KG, keep him good. Then you've got Owen straight after that with the live match reaction with DJ. And obviously after the game, we'll have plenty of reaction um, hopefully after a positive results and we'll be obviously catching up with the AFTV guys as well um, hopefully getting them on the on United view when they're absolutely pissed because they've lost hopefully they're not coming on gloating um, like they've like they have been every time I've been around them in the last sort of few years because we haven't beaten Arsenal for a little bit so smash the like on the video subscribe if you're new just as I hit a little bit of traffic which is customary on the motorway on the way up I am out of it peace